life cycle assessment of supermarket carrier bags uh, and challenges of bioplastics. That is one topic uh, that is really popular. On the one hand, LCA, on the other hand, uh, is uh, so environmental burdens, and on the other hand, uh, there is um, shopping bags that we are all using. Nevertheless, uh, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, in plastic business, uh, there are bigger, let's say, problems uh, according to environment impact, uh, 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 but the shopping bag is really a good example, but the, the masses that are used uh, here are not so big that perhaps in other products. That is the basic agenda, that how I will pr uh, go through this presentation. Uh, first, I will quickly uh, explain the numerical model uh, so how it was modeled and uh, what, how inventory analysis that is something basic in LCA approach uh, and very important how it was done. Uh, and then immediately I will go on results and analysis and at the end conclusions. Uh, some lectures, one lecture is also in English, you can see previous, uh, my previous lecture uh, uh, on YouTube channel uh, on Plastice, but I have to stress out that uh, this uh, LCA model was uh, updated uh, many times from uh, one year ago that uh, was uh, uh, done for one uh, of our partner, Mercator, uh, for uh, three shopping bags. So uh, let's go uh, to scope, goal, target, audience, and the methodology used. Uh, there are three plastic grocery bags uh, in this study included uh, LDPA as a basic bag, according to which uh, all the um, all the all the uh, results were um, then given side by side. Uh, functional unit is one bag that is perhaps not the most convenient, but nevertheless it was the only possibility to do because you will see different masses are used. You of course know that in for different uh, uh, materials for making one plastic bags. Uh, LCA methodology from cradle to grave was used, so we tried to model from the beginning of the granulate production to the grave. So with composting, with incineration, with landfill. Of course, results and LCA methodology is not, you know, have some, uh, uh, some, some, some limitations. I have to stress this out immediately. Uh, so that's why proper interpretation of the results is uh, very much needed. And at the beginning, I have to stress out also, I'm neither pro-bioplastic, neither contra-bioplastic. I would just stress out where opportunities lies, where challenges of bioplastics are, and where is better than LDPA or PPA, PP granulate, and where is not so good, and why. Uh, LCA is always done according to one uh, standard. We use it CML 2001 standard with environmental indicators. We uh, didn't use all the environmental indicators simply because some of the data were uh, uh, were get uh, from Novamont company and not all the indicators were involved there. So it will be no use to compare something with one thing that you don't possess. So three indicators are left out. Of course, target audience. Target audience, uh, we have back producers in the Plastica project, so it is one of the target audience. Then customers. There are a lot of ifs at the end of life scenarios. What if I put the, this shopping bag in this container? What happens? Uh, then waste management companies and of course the policy. These are the three shopping bags. This is the classical one, the basic one, LDPE. This is the long life plastic bag that is, has more mass. And this is the Materby plastic bag. This was the beginning of the study. In the last two weeks, I succeeded to gather the database also for PLA 
granulate. So I added in some slides also this uh, results because uh, it is also biodegradable material and it's uh, good to get the results vice versa matter be so to see where it lies. This is the for the polypropylene uh, bag the numerical model. If we go just by the uh, first uh, by the colors, these are materials used, the transportation path, and of course all the uh, things that are used for the transport. This is uh, produced uh, in Vietnam, so it should be uh, brought to Europe by the ship, and then with the railway, and then with the truck, and uh, to the uh, shops also with the truck. Uh, then a cardboard box is, uh, is always included because it's a basic package. And of course, this cardboard box is then, uh, this cardboard box goes, this material through all the way till the end of life scenarios. Waste management here uh, at the end uh, is incineration and landfill. Some of the material is recycled, so it goes back. Uh, it goes here, sorry. Here it goes back. 50% of the material in the case of PP bag and LDPA -E bag is recycled. So mechanical recy recycling is included. And this, what left, is uh, European Union 27 uh, data shows that 14% 14 14 goes to the incineration and the remain goes to the landfill. More in Western region, it's more 50-50%, but this is made for, uh, for, for EU27, so for the whole region. And uh, some of the things are also not included in the study. Why? Let's say palette. It just adds the mass that is included in the study, so the consumption of the fuel for transportation is bigger because of the mass. And, uh, but all the things, the human labor and uh, the facilities uh, for the shop, the recycling company labor are not included. Uh, it's all, in all cases the same, so uh, if you compare it relatively, uh, it is no mistake. Then the matter B numerical model, uh, the, it is 20.21 20 grams. It's the uh, mass of this um, bag. And uh, this uh, bag uh, is produced by Novamont. And you can see that the, the model is divided into two, uh, uh, two, two, two parts. This part is uh, the model in the Gabi software. And this is the external data of the Novamont company that were added uh, afterwards uh, in pro post processing. Some of the uh, processes and materials were cut off, but LCA methodology allows when you are under 5% of the overall mass, you can leave this out. But nevertheless, uh, the, some of these uh, materials are used in every case. So why we left them out? Because we didn't have the data. That's just that simple. Uh, this is for the LDPE uh, bag, and uh, both Mater B and LDPE bag are produced in Slovenia. We will see that transport is not such a big problem, uh, according to PP bag that is produced in Vietnam. If we go quickly to the inventory analysis, inventory analysis is the heart of the LCA study. Uh, it is divided in four. Uh, I will pronounce all with this colors with uh, uh, all the presentations will be the same color for materials uh, yellow and transport production process and end of life here are the basic materials used here uh, is uh, of course the transportation paths should be uh, and the uh, trucks used should be uh, 
described in deta detail. Then, of course, production process were something from the producers. Uh, usually, uh, it, uh, it is just electricity, uh, sometimes also the heat from natural gas, uh, but, uh, and of course, the uh, material that is needed for producing one bag. End of life, uh, we had mechanical recycling 50% in two cases, then landfill incineration, industrial composting, uh, and of course at the beginning what you saw in these presentations uh, are basic scenarios. Why basic scenarios? Because you have many possible variations. You, you have variations in the share of the mechanical recycling, you have the possible variation in this incineration and landfill, uh, 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 landfill ratios, so you can change what if, what if everything will go into incineration. Because in the end of life, I have to stress out that, that incineration and landfill have positive credits. Landfill have electricity, incineration has heat and electricity. And by that you, uh, you uh, have, you lower basic environmental burdens. Not really, but you have to if you want to make LCA model consistent. Uh, I will immediately go to LCA re re results. That will be what we will go through. Environmental indicators, then we will see LCA of granulate to granulate, one kilo. So this study is uh, not cradle to grave, but cradle to gate. Then GVP, global warming potential, as the I call uh, as the most popular criteria or the yellow press criteria sometimes, because there are perhaps others more important than GVP. Uh, then all environmental indicators in relative and absolute values. Uh, Break-even analysis for the shopping bags. How many times we should use one bag to meet the criteria of basic bag, LDPE? Then what it happens if we reuse this bag? Primary reuse, we use it for shopping many times. What about secondary as a litter bag? So we have to somehow lower the burden by that because litter, litter bag production goes down if we do this properly. Then waste management scenarios. So the extreme values, everything in composting, everything in incineration, everything in landfill, everything in mechanical recycling. Then, of course, I want just to stress out where opportunity or challenges are, or a reserve, let's say, how we can improve LCA model of the bioplastics. And, of course, at the end, consumer habits. These are the criteria, so global warming potential, abiotic depletion, acidification. This is all according to CML uh, 2001 standard of uh, University of Leiden uh, that, were, uh, that was established. Uh, and at the end, we added also the primary energy demand and water consumption that should be somewhere uh, down there. Because uh, primary energy demand is something that also shows something and water demand for production is also the criteria that should be included. Uh, this don't bother the numbers, just look at the colors. Uh, this is granulate production, so cradle to gate, and red number means that it's the highest one of all. This is one kilo of LDP, polypropylene, PLA, this PLA and this PLA and V, these are completely different things. I didn't go into detail, I didn't have the time to go into detail uh, in these two uh, databases, but it is clear, this is one uh, average PLA, and this is the PLA from, uh, uh, from, from, from Na NatureWorks in Blair, Nebraska, just for one facility, and it's it's a lot lower impact than average values of 
PLA all around. That was this database was done by PE International on the basis on literature and everything on the scientific research. And this is just for one company, uh, one facility in Nebraska. And of course, matter bit data that were given from Novamont here. We have just to stress out that uh, this can be uh, 2.0 can be subtracted away 1.07 that is consumed in the uh, starch uh, production. So it can be 0 0.93 then. So that is the right value. But I didn't do that because of all others, it is impossible to do this, but these are the data from normal. So, um, if we go to global warming potential, that is the most, uh, you know, um, popular crit criteria today, uh, and we s see the absolute value. Here also, these columns are divided into the material that goes to the material, burden to the material, burden to production, burden to transport, and burden to end of life, uh, end of life cycle. So, why? This absolute differences, of course, there are completely different masses used for shopping bags. This is uh, 14 grams, this is 127 grams, and these two are 20.21 20 grams. So, logically, uh, it's, there are the differences. Um, relative contribution, we will come to this uh, later when I will normalize the results to one kilogram, so it, it is more than to understand. Uh, relative contributions, we can see that uh, a lot of uh, goes to the granulate production, but what uh, bothers me the most is that in the biodegradable uh, plastic, uh, a, a lot of burden comes from the end of life. Uh, so, the composting uh, have burdens to the environment. Why? As I learned through this uh, one year and a half, you need energy for making co uh, compost. Uh, so, you need high temperature and you need energy, uh, electricity and diesel to, to make composting possible. So, that and that comes to the environmental burden of composting. You can see also here that uh, in the PP life uh, bag, uh, transport is much higher because the burden of the transport is much bigger because we are transporting for the Vietnam. Uh, and in LDPA goes mainly to the granulate. Here in the blue region, just the electricity is uh, the main burden that makes this blue things wider or thicker. Uh, so if here is just GVP, now we will go to relative contributions of all environmental indicator. GVP is just now one of them. Uh, and we can see, you will immediately ask, what is this negative value? These are the credits, the credits from the out, uh, end of life scenario. And we can see for the LDPA, for the matter B, this is one thing that I have to stress out. Just the GVP is the problem of the end of life scenario in the biodegradable plastic. And that's why it's not good if we promote GVP is the main criteria. Because all other, we can see that they are not so problematic. It's just the granulate production that it's the main things on uh, in environmental burdens. And the last one goes to the PLA, and I used in this first step upgrade of the model the uh, average PLA. So it's the numbers are worse that could be if I would use this Nebraska PLA. Uh, and also here we can see that just in two, uh, uh, two, two, two uh, indicators uh, in end of life, it's a big influence, and in all other indicators, is mainly the production of the material, the main influence. Then, uh, these results that you saw now, just in absolute values. In the, now, first for one bag, you, of course, here are differences in masses, the, bi the biggest influence. And the red number 
that means that it's a lot different, but the uh, orange one, that means that it is the same magnitude, but just a, a small difference. Uh, and we can see here that, of course, PP Live back is the worst case because we have almost 10 times more or f five times more uh, material used for production of one bag. Then we normalize this to one kilo of bag. Uh, and we are immediately not satisfied because uh, it goes everything uh, to the, uh, this uh, case of biodegradable plastic that is the worst, uh, uh, the, the worst case. But of course, um, we ha I have to stress out that uh, this big influence is of course of the end of life. And I learned today that anaerobic Digestion is one possibility where we can get credits. So I want to include anaerobic di digestion into this study because it will uh, put the bioplastic at the end of life to the better place. Uh, so uh, the problem of industry composting is there is no environmental credits through electricity or heat like in landfill or in incineration, uh, and it's some energy consumption for making the compost, uh, compost work. Break-even analysis. Break-even analysis means how many times we should use one other bag to meet the environmental indicator of basic bag. This is LDPA. So in all the criteria, this data is not logical, and I have to check this out with Noamon. That is simply too much uh, uh, that we cannot shop uh, this intensive in all the life. Uh, but uh, we can see that PP Life bag is just 14 times, and we meet the standard of LDPA bag. But what we don't like is that we have to use many times the biodegradable bag to meet the standard of LDPA back. And that is, let's say, here is just global warming potential, but all other criteria is also not so good. And there are, these are the averages. If they are telling something or not, I don't know. I just did these averages. Uh, so what that means? That go further to the primary and secondary reuse. So we have to somehow persuade customers to do the right thing. Primary reuse of all bags, of course, as many as possible, because this is propor proportional reduction of all environmental impacts. Then secondary reuse. As a bin linear, we made separate model where the same material was used, the same manufacturing process was used, but just 50% of material mass was used for this liter bag. So that was like avoided product that we uh, subtract that away from the basic model. And to sum results up, reduction of environmental burdens in average for 40% in LDPE case if we use this bag as a litter bag, and then, of course, for a litter bag, we can use just one time, then we throw it into the landfill uh, uh, municipal waste and in the uh, biodegradable plastic case to the compost, so we have to collect food. Uh, and reduction of environmental burdens in average uh, almost 50% in matter case if we use it for the uh, compost uh, collection and uh, pu uh, put it in the right uh, container. So secondary reuse and primary reuse both make a big sense. Then at the end we go to the waste management scenarios. This is the basic case. So 50% of recycling, 7% of incineration uh, and the, the remains go to the landfill, but we can do 100% mechanical recycling that will be the, uh, the manufacturers or the, of the bags will say if this is possible from technology point of view or not, but here in the LCS studies, no problem. 
all in landfill and all in incineration. And we can make also this in PP live back case, but in composting uh, uh, in um, matter B case, we couldn't do that because it's mechanical recycling is something that is not done yet. So this back loop is, I don't know if it is, it makes sense. That is actually not me that I uh, want to judge this, but uh, uh, it, it was not included. And uh, PLA back here is not included because uh, the models are not updated uh, to, this point, uh, to this degree yet. But these results are very, uh, very, very uh, good uh, to see. This is the base case. Of course, 0%. We are on this baseline. What if there is no recycling, no mechanical recycling? What happens? We worsen the case in all... One minute. Oh. We worsen the case uh, in all indicators. Then, if we have all recycling, mechanical recycling, we, of course, that is the good case. Then, if we put mainly in the landfill, is this all indicators are a bit worse, not so much. And if we go to the incineration facility, it is good because we have a lot of credits. For the matter B, if we landfill it, we worsen the case, of course, and if we incinerate it, we actually do a bit better because we get some credits in the composting, we don't get the credits. So I have to go to the immediately to conclusions. Uh, this is no credits are included at, and I have to sum up that if no credits are included, uh, the story doesn't change much. Few percent of worse in the case. Uh, and then uh, opportunity of bioplastic, where to improve this. Of course, in, at the end of life, so to implement not industrial composting, but agriculture composting, and as I saw today, anaerobic digestion. Of course, then we can, this is assumption, we can put matter B face to face with LDPA. So this is one thing. And at the end of the day, I have to stress this out, superiority of PP back. In five year time, it is between all uh, indicators, it is between 55 to 215 times better than classical because we use it five years in a row and all others are more than 500. So uh, just conclusions, manufacturers let uh, enlarge the share of recyclate and lower the energy input, consumers use the PP live back because it's the best case, sorry. Uh, consumers reuse primary and secondary reuse, makes sense. And how to properly dispose the bag. So one in the yellow litter bin and biodegradable plastic has two options. One is the agriculture whole composting and the second alternative is industrial composting. Of course, there are some ifs. If we put LDPA back in black linear bin, that means 7% increase of all environmental indicators. If we put matter B in black linear bin, that means 13% up in GVP. I will finish immediately. Uh, these are some further steps. I will contact some uh, partners because I can see that they have some data that I can use. And uh, next time I will be shorter and, uh, uh, but with some new results. Uh, I have to thanks, special thank to this partner, but for the end, I have to stress out that but one LDPE back in whole life cycle is just 140 meters with the average car. So the point of this slide is to walk into the shop not to drive around the city. Thank you very much. <clears throat>